Hello everyone out there, welcome to the Shadow People. This is a uh, horror game, much like The Uninvited. And it's about Shadow People. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know we don't freaking know. We don't read synopsis over here. We just jump into games and um, start uh, playing. But I can give you a rundown. It's it's sort of like, um, I, I guess it's just a point and click old school horror game. So, without further ado, let's get into it. There we go. Okay. So, first off, what I want to know. Does this have full screen? It does. But it's still like... Still got a strange window? Let me see here. I don't know, I guess we can't make it larger for you. So, it's just gonna be... Yeah, it's just gonna be the small window, unfortunately. Uh, unless... No. <laughs> it's just gonna be that tiny window. Alright, let's start. This is a demo, I think. Uh, so it's not gonna be a full game. It may be a full game, and it may not. Anyway, move the mouse cursor to find the objects to interact with. Use the action menu to select the action. Okay. You can move by clicking on the map or using the move action. You're in a small dim room. You could barely just make out the door the opposite of your bed. You had trouble sleeping last night. And you know that you have difficult day ahead of you. Today marks Wednesday. Next week is finals. And you know, there's no rest for the wicked. Alright, so what I gather right now is, yeah, we're a student. You must select an action or an item first, so look. You look in the mirror, you instantly regret doing so. Your hair is messed up after tossing and turning so much last night. Will you ever get a good night's sleep? It's a rug. It really ties the room together. You examine the picture. It's Mount Fuji. You scaled it last year with some friends. You examine the portrait. It's a friend of yours, a tall man with a light brown with light brown hair and a woodcutter ass axe slung over his shoulder. What kind of friends do you have? You look at the day sky. While the sun is shining, the light doesn't feel particularly warm. It's a small table. You play some board games on it with friends in the past. It's a light switch. Okay. It's your bedroom door. A cheap light fixture is amazing. This lasted as long as it has. Okay, so let's open the door. You open the door. It's already open. Can I... Do I use? Oh no, move. Okay, so let's take a look at the stuff around this room. A key that goes to your car. You won't make it far without it. So take. You take the car key. <laughs> okay. So basically this whole game is like this. It's an opening to the patio. It's one of those tall lamps. You picked it up last year from the discount store. Alright. So can I go that way? Alright, let's move out that way. What's that? A wooden mallet with a rubber head, often used for flattening sheet metal, but can be useful for smash smashing fragile objects. I guess? <laughs> you take the mallet? What? Okay, look. It's a dead forest. A fire raged through the area recently, laying it to waste. Anything else I can have a look at? 
What is this? Why is, why is the pointer finger going when I press look? Alright, so it's nothing else I can have a look at. It's the sun, don't stare directly at it. Alright, nothing else I can have a look at, so let's go. The door is closed. Okay, well I gotta open the door, eh? You open the door. And then move. Oh boy, here we go. So... The lock is stuck. Opening the compartment is futile. Aw, oh, man. So use the car key. Are we driving? Like, am I really driving? You drive your car through the cold sunshine. Cold sunshine? Doing your best to keep awake during the long drive to campus. Okay. Now what? Now what? Do I just leave? You open the door. Okay. You greet your professor and sit down at your seat. Look at the blackboard when you're ready for the lecture. Okay. Your professor starts the lecture. You frantically take notes while trying to avoid passing out. Finals is next week and you can't miss anything. Okay. Look. Uh, are we done? Like, what? <laughs> this game is kind of... vague. Do I just drive back home, I guess? Okay. Car. Use the key. I guess we're going to the gas station? You drive your car back home along a lonely stretch of highway. You pull off and they exit a nearby gas station. Okay. So, move out of the car. Uh, forward? The door is locked. Oh, yuck. Okay, so take the key here. You take the gas station key. It's too heavy to take and why would you want to? It's a vile toilet. A horrific stench emanates from the foul liquid. I just wanted to see. It's a damaged sink. Oh my! It's a filthy gas station mirror. You gaze at it for a length of time, using the cold water to try to wake yourself up. As you stare in the mirror, you think you see the shadow of a person for a brief moment. However, when you blink, the image is suddenly gone without a trace. Gee whiz, man, why would you do that to me? Alright, so use the gas station key here. Uh, use the key. You unlock the door with the key. Alright, so move in. What is that? It's a button to turn on the gas pumps. The pumps are currently off. Okay, so push. You press the button to turn the pumps on. Okay, anything else to look at? A shelf of sundry things. Alright. Empty gas canisters? You don't need one right now. Okay. It's a gas pump. It's receiving power. Okay, so use. You fill your car up with gas. Now what? Do I just keep the gas station key? Like, do I work here now? <laughs> I don't know. Alright, let's get in the car and uh, go on home with the gas station key. I just got... I see it. 
You drive along and you drive along in a moonlit night. You struggle to stay awake. Suddenly, a dark figure of a child appears in the road. You swerve hard, slamming into the large tree and destroying your car. Great! I just gassed up, and now I just crashed my car. What? All right. Uh, look. Tree has crushed your windshield. Can I just use the mallet? Can I use the mallet on the... Can't use the mallet here. Huh. Alright. Well, let's leave the car. I don't like this. I don't like this one bit. Highway lies in front of you. This sounds like the Nightmare on Elm Street game a little bit. <laughs> God, okay, let's... What? What's that? The clock tower stands tall in the distance. What? It's a fancy door to the clock tower. Open? It's open. Why? Why are we in here? It's a gear for the clock tower. It's an empty hole between the two gears. It looks like something could fit inside. Another gear? Possibly? Uh, <laughs> and you roll read six? Nine? Wait, what? This clock is all wrong. Three. Twelve. Wait a minute, why is 9 over here? And why is 3 over here? This clock is backwards. It's a button. Button. It's a button on the wall. There's something scrawled on the wall nearby. The, this button is the key to your destiny. But at what time would the future arrive? It's a hidden panel. You don't see any way of opening it yourself. There may be some other way to open it. Use the mallet, maybe? No. Still haven't come up with a reason to have the mallet. Okay. I guess there's nothing here right now? The game just crashed. Oh boy. <laughs> this is what I get for trying to play new games. It's just freaking crashed. And I'm pretty sure... What is happening? Pretty sure th that it didn't save. Oh no! Wait a minute. Here's a save file. Um. But the problem is. Game isn't showing on. Thing anymore. Alright. Resume. Okay, so it did save. It auto-saved. So that was unexpected. What's this? Park entrance. It's a gate to a park. It's currently locked by a chain with a padlock. Okay, so mallet. Use the mallet. <laughs> Rubber embedded mallet, not a chance. What's this on the ground? A lighter? It's a metal flip lighter. It appears to be some fuel left inside of it. Alright, take it. Take the lighter. Okay. So. There's nothing else to this place, I guess. Um, should be something else here? What is this place? A church. I don't like the looks of this. Stained glass window looks fairly damaged. I don't like the look of it. It looks to be a small bell tower. It, it appears to have been out of service for some time. Are the doors closed? Can I open it? I can open it. Alright. Move forward. 
Um, uh, I don't like this church. Some sort of religious icon? It looks a bit like a cross with spikes on the ends. But there's a crescent moon around part of the cross. That's not the cross. It is not the cross. All right, so let's light up this place. All right, you light the candle. Uh, I'd like to light all the candles, please. Uh-huh. What the hell? You light the candelabra. Lighting the candles has revealed a hidden door on the wall. What the heck? What? Wait, what is this church? <laughs> First and foremost, it's a mural. You can see what appears to be a crystal cavern, a forest, a lighthouse on a beach, dark hills, a swampy pit, and a tower rising into the sky. A large, magnificent crescent moon hangs overhead, overlooking it all. Is it based on a story? What? What's this? It looks like a trap door. What's it doing here? Can I open it? I can open it. Oh god. Alright, I have too much... I have way too much to, to deal with right now. So, let's open this door first and see what's in here. Okay, what is that? Bolt cutters? A pair of bolt cutters. Use it to cut chains or padlocks. Ooh, I can use that for that clock tower, whatever. Um, take those. Alright, let's look at these mirrors. A long mirror. Okay. That's all that's to this room. Okay, let's leave. Alright, let's check out this uh, trapdoor. How do I... Something is etched onto the wall here. In the darkness, you can see your true self. A large ornate mirror stands before you. It's strange, but the longer you gaze at your reflection, the more you feel like it's watching you. I want out. I want out, please. Let me out. I want out. I want away from this church right now. Oh my god. You're not quite sure what it is, but it appears to be a silhouette of a person. For some reason, you get the distinct impression that it's not a drawing. Something's etched into the wall here. The endless midnight has been visited upon me. Only in a dream does light exist for me anymore. Am I blind? Even when my eyes are open, not even the faint sliver of the crescent moon is visible to me. Something is etched here. Zero, zero, question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark. Dot, dot, dot. What does that mean? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Let's keep going. It's a sewer gate. It looks to be rusted in place. Can I use the mallet here? No. You cannot. Why does it look like the world ends here? <laughs> Pretty strange. Rust is shut, so I can't move towards it. Alright, well, let's keep... What the fuck was that sound? Alright, so use... Bee cutters. Yeah. You cut the chain with the bolt cutters. <sighs> but do I really want to be here? <laughs> Let's go to the right. There's a shed. Okay. The door is closed. So open it. You open the door. Not a lot of doors are locked here. Oh, the music stopped. But I need this. I know I need this. Take, take that. Take the cog. What is that? It's a ham radio. It looks to be in working order. Use it. Huh. Zero eight three five. Um. I don't have a pen anymore. Like I used to have my pen and my cat pad right next to me. All right, I <laughs> got my pen and my cat pad. So.
Oh boy, there's a lot of like puzzles that I've written out on here over the years. <laughs> uh, there's one on every page. All right, so zero, zero, eight, three, five. Okay. What is the significance? It's probably a code to something. Um, let's look at this. A window sits on the wall. It's pitch black outside, save for a sliver of the moon and some stars in the sky. All right, let's leave the shed. Ooh, that music starting back kind of startled me a little bit. All right, let's move towards the park. The decrepit grave. Wait, is this supposed to be a park? The decrepit grave, long worn down by the sands of time. It looks like it was moved recently. You expect to read about who, whose ever's? No. Whomever's grave that this is, but instead, something else is carved in the stone. Eternal shadow in the twilight of dark sun. Creatures that dance in the peripheral of the mind. A forgotten, a forgotten land that exists among the stars. Give your flesh to the holy altar and be reborn with an unyielding immortality no thank you <laughs> I'd rather not okay so now I'll oh, frig um okay so now there's okay so there was zero in the middle and zero on the top left and now there's two zeros at the bottom and then question mark okay I'm gonna have to go back to whatever that other one was here lies Starboy 2015 to 2015 there's something more here Starboy was built to assist Adam Girl in her mission, but he was finally fatally damaged. In his final moments, he looked up at the stars, knowing she was out there somewhere. She, the remaining world words cannot be read, as they have been worn down over time. Who is Starboy and Adam Girl? I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine. Here goes that symbol again. Some sort of religious icon. Yeah. It ain't no religious icon, I know. <laughs> so, it's got to be the work of Satan. Okay, let's go back to the clock tower. Because we got a cog. You place the cog in the empty hole. You hear the gears begin to grind as the clock tower comes to life. Now, the thing is, I don't know what time I'm supposed to make it. I don't have I don't have a time I mean 835 but there's no 8 there's a 9 there's a 6 a 3 and a 12 this clock is backwards I think I want to say this is like a mirror clock so let's see what these do push yeah as ex expected um okay so maybe no No. It doesn't have anything to do with 835. So. Oh boy. Um. So let's come back to that. What's. The st that's the end of the world. Uh. Oh boy. I really have no idea. 
Let's go back in the church. There's three mirrors. Can I push them? Can I hit them with the rubber mallet? Oh! You smash the mirror to pieces. Okay. A long mirror has been smashed to pieces. So... Can I... Can't move there. Hmm. Maybe if I smash all of them? Maybe one is specifically... Ah! You smash the mirror to pieces, revealing a hidden door behind. I knew one of them was gonna open. Okay! I think we've made a mistake. There's something etched into the wall here. This necklace is stalwart defense against the unknown magical bearer keeping the darkness of the mind at bay. So that's this. Silver necklace adorned with small blue sapphire. It seems to have a strange but calming energy to it. So take it? For some reason you feel as though your destiny has changed. Okay. <laughs> what am I supposed to do with that? What does that do for me? Should I smash this one too? I smashed it, and nothing happened. Yeah, nothing happened. Right? The mirror is destroyed. I mean, <laughs> I don't know, like... I smashed this too? Okay. No. Just stop smashing things. Get out of here. Can I smash this too? No. Okay. Alright, so... Can't take that. Uh... Uh... What is... What was it? Something is etched here that- okay, that was that thing. So yeah, I got it noted down right. It was the top left and then the middle for that one. Uh, but I don't know what it's supposed to mean. Nothing really has happened yet. I'm gonna maybe go back to my vehicle. Can I go back to the car? I mean, we gotta figure out something with this clock. Push. Press the button, you hear the gears turn, but no, no avail. The me mechanism must not be configured correctly. Okay, so it's not 840 or 835. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what? Do they want you to do with that? Like, how do you figure out what time? That one was the zeros down here. What does that even mean? Hold on. Okay, so... 
What was that sound? I don't know what that freaking blip sound is. I'm gonna try the 835 again. Uh, it's gotta be the fact that this is backwards. So, it's gotta have something to do with that. So is the, would the 8 be up here then? Um, I'm having trouble figuring out what side the 8 is on. I guess the 8 would be there? Yes! So it is 8.35, it's just the clock. <laughs> the clock is so freaking backwards I couldn't figure out where the 8 was. Okay, so you press a button the secret panel and the wall opens. A hacksaw falls out of the panel and clatters to the floor. Okay. So take it? You take the hacksaw. Hidden panel is currently open. Hacksaw? Where would I need a hacksaw at? I don't know. Right, okay, so let's just look around, I guess. What was over here? Just the ham radio? That gave me the the code or the clock time. Then there's the graves. So nothing can be done there yet. Mm, church was the smash windows. I mean, I don't want to, but <gasps> oh. Yeah, okay. I was about to cut the freaking body. <laughs> oh my god. Hello? Hello? Okay. What's this? Something etched into the wall here. Let the moon sh serve as your guide in this endless night. The labyrinth has twin exits. One path leads to salvation, the other to certain damnation. Dare you tread the old crimson path? I don't know. What the hell? Strange markings, what could they mean? Fam, what? <laughs> what is the D-pad? Like, it's a full moon. Um, so forward, left. Okay. I think I get it. So, those dots probably are coming into play here. I don't know. I'm gonna say forward, left, back, and left, and then don't go right. I, huh? Okay, so forward, left, back, left. Aha! Look at this. There's a pit in the floor. You can't see the bottom. Jumping down looks to be a one-way trip. Just assuming you survive, of course. Okay, so it's a new moon. How do I jump down? Just, just go? Did I die? Bam, did I die? 
Something is written on the outline in the ground. There was a living person here. They are gone now. I'm in the lost room. So I believe I died. Are those people waving? Question mark, question mark. The imperfect. A strange beast stands before you. It has the head of a nearly featureless human, but legs that resemble an elephant. Although you aren't sure just how many legs. Okay. Am I trapped here? Like, why can I not do anything anymore? Just mad at him to death. Well, I can kill you before you get close. Lighter? Can't use a lighter here. Uh, necklace. Dude, what do I do? Am I just... Am I just locked here forever? I can't move anywhere. I can't do anything. Can I talk to him? Well, as a face that somewhat approximates a human, you either can't speak, nor feels no need to. Okay. I mean, look and <gasps> get out of here. Do I need to use the? At first glance, you think it's another shadow body, but interestingly, it's a human-shaped hole in the wall. You peer through the dark hole, but it seems to stretch on for infinity into inky blackness. Do I use the thing again? Just, just left? Back? Cracked wall. It appears to be a twisting, snaking cracks in the wall. It's faint, but you think you can hear someone screaming in pain deep inside the fissures, followed by what sounds like crawling. Okay. So how do I... I can't get out. I can't get out. There's something in the wall looking at you. Get out of here. Oh boy. Oh, 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 oh. Oh my god. It's a hallway with a never ending series of archways. You can hear the sounds of children in the distance far, far away. Okay. I mean, this is a change. Hello? Hello? Oh! Oh boy, no! <laughs> well, it's over for me. The magic necklace protected you. Alright, necklace! Oh boy. Dark transition, you slowly trudge through the dark passage. You're barely able to keep awake. You reach the faraway light and quickly envelops your entire vision. When it finally dims, you find you're somehow back home! Wait, what? It's been a long and harrowing day, but you finally make it back home to your bedroom. You stumble wildly to your bed as you slip in and out of consciousness. You slam down hard onto your mattress and pass out. When you awaken, the sun is shining magnificently in the azure sky, and all the blackness of the night has been banished to... Another day. You peaceably lie in your bed and reflect on all the difficulties you just overcame. You vow to do your best to catch up on sleep, even if it means your grades suffer a bit. 
because nothing is more important than a life. Ending one of five, morning daybreak. Oh my gosh. That's really cool though. So apparently there's five endings. I'm not gonna get all five of them. I'm just gonna get this one. Um, yeah, that was the Shadow People. It's free on um, Steam. I'll leave a link in the description if you wanna try it out for yourself. And yeah, so that's that. Uh, I don't know when I'm gonna get to Yakuza. It's just like I said, that game, it, it takes a lot. Um, of sitting down and recording it for t two plus hours. Because of all the cutscenes. And then trying to condense that all down so that it's not like a long drawn out video. It still ends up being like an hour and a half video even when I try to condense it down. Because it's just so much in there. There's so many cutscenes. Um, so it's just really difficult, like, during the work week to get to that. Um, yeah. <laughs> I'm still kind of, like, trying to take that game in. Um, it was basically just saying, get your rest or whatever. Even if your your progress, um, you know, whatever you're doing, even if it suffers a little bit, just make sure you take care of you, because you've only got one you. Anyways, uh, hopefully you enjoyed. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.